Are you thinking about building a gaming PC? A little taken back by certain things going on in the market right now? Well, I'm going to give you four reasons you might want to go for it anyway. So stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMeld. Paul's Hardware did a really great video a little while back that gave us four reasons why this isn't exactly the best time to build a gaming PC. I actually agree with his points, so this isn't a rebuttal or anything like that. I'll actually have his video linked in the description, so definitely check that out. No, instead I figured I'd just give you four reasons you may want to go for it in spite of Paul's reasons for not doing it right now. And some of my reasons are for those just looking to upgrade and some are more for first time buyers. Either way, let's get started. The first is really the weight. One of the main reasons for not building a gaming PC right now is simply the cost. It primarily boils down to two things. Supply issues that's made RAM astronomically expensive and the Ethereum crypto mining insanity that caused similar supply and subsequent cost issues with graphics cards. But here's the unfortunate thing. We aren't sure when either of these will fully subside. RAM pricing is predicted to slowly trend downward starting next year, but is a few dollars worth waiting months for? According to current analyst Gartner, prices should crash by 2019, and that's great, but that's another year. Then there's GPUs. While pricing has come down from the insane place they were at just a few months ago, they still aren't exactly cheap. Now I'm not telling anyone they should overspend for their hardware. It's just whether you think it'll be worth the probable wait or not. Prices could fall drastically next year, but it could be two years, it could be three years, it could be next week. No one really knows. Volta, NVIDIA's next GPU architecture, could help lower pricing on Pascal chips, but then most will be wanting Volta and that could easily be inflated as well. Basically, waiting just might not be worth it for you. The second reason is pretty simple. The games. If you've never gamed on a PC before and are thinking about it, there's really no better reason to go for it. Simply put, there's never been a console on the market that could touch the amount of exclusives that currently reside on the personal computer. Sure, not all are amazing, but there are entire genres that almost solely reside on the PC platform. And thanks to Windows, you're able to go back to some of the most retro of titles. And yeah, you can wait. But there's a ton of titles to get started on, so waiting just means less precious hours for those exciting games. The third reason you may want to jump into the world of PC gaming now rather than later is the used market. While supply and demand determines nearly everything in an open market, including the value of used items, you're still able to find some really great deals when it comes to hardware. Obviously there are some drawbacks to going used, like hardware not functioning as the seller stated or simply not lasting as long plus a lack of warranty most of the time, so a used item may not always be the best choice. With that said, if you're on a tight budget and know what you're doing, you can easily find some really inexpensive hardware for the performance. This is definitely true for gamers wanting to play less demanding games like esports or older games. The final reason is the added competition lately. While GPU and RAM prices are pretty out there, other things like CPU bang for your buck have never been better. For example, there are some great motherboards at decent prices, though mostly on AMD's side since Intel has only released the high-end Z370 on their newest CPUs. But then just the fact that Intel has finally brought 6 cores to their mainstream line, plus inexpensive 4 core i3s, and AMD has similar pricing with all of their CPUs being overclockable. Then cases have never been better for what you get in the low-end pricing. You could always go for a new motherboard and CPU and then get an inexpensive used GPU for now and only have to pay a decent penny for the RAM. Basically, while certain components are way up there, not everything is doom and gloom in the PC hardware industry. And if you're smart about it, you can dodge most of the expensive parts or at least offset it as much as possible. But of course, I want to know what you think. Are you going to wait or is it worth it to jump in right now? Let me know down in the comments below. And definitely don't forget to check out the GamerMail Discord server to talk all things hardware and gaming. Check that out in the description. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.